Hi guys, today I am uh, going to solve a question on Cashbox. Um, this basically this question is taken from May June 2019. Uh, the previous course code for O level accounting was 7110, and usually the Cashbox questions come in the uh, it's like question number one of the page. Uh, so uh, they're saying here Wilson maintains a three column cash book in his business. On 1st March 2019, the following balances were available. So they've given you a cash balance of $10 and they've given you a bank overdraft of $35. Bank overdraft means it's a liability. Liabilities basically come on the credit side of the cash book. The balance brought down for liabilities are uh, come on the credit side of the cash book. So I'll just put in these balances on 1st March 2019 in the cash book. So I write here 1st March 2019. I write here balance brought down and in the cash column I write $10. Again I write here 1st March 2019. I write here balance brought down and in the bank column I write here $35. Uh, then we'll basically solve all these transactions that occurred during March. So here they are saying during March the following transactions occurred: cash sales 570. So uh, whenever you are selling goods, uh, the sales account is credited. You are receiving cash in exchange of the goods that you are selling, right? So whenever you are receiving money, you record that on the debit side of the cash book. So you write here receiving money. Whenever you're receiving money, you record that on the debit side of the cash book. Whenever you're making payments, you record that on the credit side of the cash book. So here we are making sales and this is 3rd March. You write here sales. The other account that is being credited is sales. And in the cash account, you write 570. Uh, then they are saying March 10, paid wages 65 and general expenses 19 in cash. So I, write, I record this on the credit side of the cash book. I write here 10th March. I write here wages and I need to write this in the cash column because they are paying in cash. So I write 65 and then for the same date, I write here general expenses and I write here 19 in the cash column. Then they are saying banked cash 420. Banked cash is a contra entry. So there are basically two contra entries in the cash book, which are very important. Uh, when you have excess money in your bank, in your in your cash drawer, and then you put that in the bank. So bank account is being debited and cash account is being credited. This is exactly what is happening here. So what you're doing is that you have excess cash in the office that you're putting in the bank. What you'll do here is that you'll record this on both sides of the cash book. So what I do here is I write here uh, 12th March on the credit side. In the cash column, I write 420 because cash is basically going to the bank. So cash should be credited. Uh, cash is the paying account here and bank is basically the receiving account. So in the details, I write here bank. So the money that is going from cash, it's going to the bank. So on the debit side, I write here 12th March and in I write here cash. And in the bank column, I write here 420 because we are receiving 420 in the bank from cash. Then they are saying check $40 received from Glover in February was returned by the bank marked refer to drawer. Refer to drawer basically means it's a dishonored check. Dishonored checks are those checks which are returned by the bank when your customers basically if a customer gave me a check and that customer did not have enough money in his bank account. So now the bank will basically return the check and say that um, refer to the person who wrote the check in the first place. So Glover was the person who gave us a check in February and in February's cash book, I, I recorded that on the debit side of the cash book. So basically when, when I received the check from Glover, I did bank debit Glover credit. Uh, so what happened in March was that in March, the bank told me that Glover does not have enough money in his bank account. So the check is dishonored. So, uh, so that was returned. So now you need to record this on the credit side of the cash book as well. So I write here Glover. I write here dishonored check in the brackets. And in the bank column, I write $40. So this was on 18th March. In the next transaction, they are saying settle lose account 250 by, by check after deducting a 4% cash discount. So Lou is basically the person I'm supposed to pay and Lou is my uh, basically trade payable. So I need to pay him 250. This is what I owe Lou. Okay. So I owe Lou 250 and I'm paying by check. So the account is of 250. So account being of 250 means that I owe 250. 
Tulu, but I am basically taking a discount of 4%, that is 4% cash discount. So when I multiply 250 by 4%, I get $10. So this is the discount that Lou is allowing me. So basically for me, it's discount received. So I record this on the credit side of the cash book. I write here Lou, I write here $10 in the discount received column. And basically I'm paying 240, that is 250 minus 10 to Lou. Uh, through uh, through basically by by basically by check so this will be 20th march in the next transaction they are saying drawings taken 50 in cash and 300 by check so basically when the owner takes out money wilson in this case is taking out money for his personal use so he's taking 50 from the cash drawer and 300 from the bank so basically both of these account are, go are going to pay um, the, both of these accounts are going to be paying accounts in this case. So I write here drawings on the credit side. I write 50 in the cash column and I write 300 in the bank column. And this is basically January, uh, March 25th. So I write here 25th March. Then they are saying received a check 285 from Fred after he had deducted 5% cash discount. This was paid into the bank. So basically what you guys need to know is that whenever someone is giving us a check, and that check will have the amount after the cash discount so basically fred was our customer who gave us a check now he gave us a check of 285 so basically 285 dollars here is going to be 95 percent of the total amount that fred owed us okay so he had deducted five percent cash discount which means that the full amount was basically 100 percent and the amount after discount is going to be 95 percent because 100 minus five percent discount is going to give us 95 so 285 is basically 95 percent so what is 100 percent so i get the amount for x when i cross multiply i get 300 so basically fred owed us 300 in the first place and we gave him a $15 discount, that is discount allowed. So on the debit side of the cash book, I write here uh, 30th March, I write here Fred. So Fred's account is being credited, bank account is being debited. I write here discount allowed, that's going to be 15. For the, uh, for the amount that we've received in the bank will be 285 and that's it. So if you guys know the difference uh, in the transaction that was on March 20 and March 30, there's a difference here. The, the account of Lou was 250, so that was the full amount that we owed to Lou. That was 100%. And then we had taken out 4% discount from 250. In the, uh, in the transaction on March 30th, basically Fred is giving us a check after he had taken the discount. So whenever you write a check, a check will always contain that amount which is after discount. So whenever you write a check, you write the amount that is after discount. So Fred is basically giving us the amount that is after discount so we should be able to identify here that 285 is 95% so uh, that's it then you need to basically uh, balance the cash book so whenever you balance what you do is that you do total of heavy side minus total of light side so for the cash column uh, the uh, total is 580 on the debit side for the cash column uh, the total of uh, the payment side basically is 554 so when you subtract both of these you get a balance carried down so i write here march 31st i write here balance carried down and in the cash column i write 26 dollars for bank the debit side total is 705 and the credit side total is 615 so when you subtract both of these you get $90. So six, six, 705 minus 615 gives you $90. Then what you do is that you do totals. So 705 on the credit side, 705 on the debit side. And for cash, you do the same. You do 580 on the credit side, 580 on the debit side. You have to total the discount columns also. So discount column, you never balance the discount columns. So only $15 for discount allowed and ten dollars for discount received and then this balance carry down must become your balance brought down so you write here first april 2019 you write here balance brought down and you write here 26 in the cash column and 90 dollars in the bank column so that's it for this cash book this is like 10 marks and they're very 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 scoring questions when they give cash books uh, normally in question number one so thank you so much for watching